Welcome to Outlook 2010 Calendar Permissions. I'm Trainer Laurie. What are calendar permissions? Options for sharing calendars and or email folders. Via view permissions with sharing access or full editing with delegate access. To share a calendar with others. Do you want to share or use the delegate option? If the calendar owner shares permissions, they determine what you can see and change in their calendar but you will not receive invitations to meetings. If you have delegate access, if they make you an el editor delegate, you will receive meeting-related emails sent to them. When someone invites them to a meeting, both you as the delegate and they receive the email invite, you can then accept or decline the meeting on their behalf. First, let's look at share. This is what the owner would do of the calendar to share it with someone else. Right click on the calendar that you want to share and choose properties. Under the permissions tab click add and you will look through your Active Directory and choose the person that you want to add and then under permission level choose the level that you want them to have. For example publishing editor. Publishing editor allows them to have full details. They can see everything on your calendar. They can create items, subfolders. They can edit everything. They can delete anything and the folder would be visible. Now you can make changes to any of these but this is what that default would look like. And then you click apply. You can see and make changes in their calendar but you will not receive invitations to meeting if you are the publishing editor. If you want to be able to make changes you must use the delegate access. To do that, make sure, again, as the owner of the calendar, you must do this or have access to it, you find it under File, Info, and ensure that the account to share is the default. You can click the drop down and make sure that uh, you're on the right calendar. Then under Account Settings, choose Delegate Access. Add a delegate, look in your Active Directory, choose the person, and notice, just because I chose the person, it until permissions are added, the options are unavailable. So now I must click permissions. So just adding the person does not give them permission. So I click permissions, OK, and now I get to choose what kind of permission. There's three levels. The editor can make decisions about your calendar. When you make someone an editor, they can receive meeting-related emails sent to you, and the editor can create meetings, accept, and decline meeting requests on your behalf. An author can create meetings on your calendar but cannot make any other changes. An author is less powerful than an editor. And a reviewer can look at your calendar but cannot make any changes to it. A reviewer has the least permissions. This is the time to choose to share delegate permissions for other Outlook options as well if you want to share your inbox, your contacts, journal, etc. Also you can choose to automatically send a message to delegate summarizing these permissions. That's a good idea. And then the last option is delegate can see my private items. So if you have marked something by right clicking on it and choosing private, something is private, then they can see that. This would be good for confidential secretaries. A fully functioning delegate now has all the options available now that the permissions have been added. If you don't want your request deleted, then go to file options under the mail tab, then you have the option to delete meeting requests and notifications from inbox after responding. The default is yes you'll want to uncheck that to say no. Also, automatically process meeting requests and responses to meeting requests and polls. Again, you'll want to uncheck that. Otherwise, y they will automatically um, be handled and you will not be able to see them. They will automatically be deleted. If their appointment doesn't show in your calendar, then also under File Options, go to the Calendar tab and under Display Options, check when in schedule view show free appointments. That's not on by default. So make sure that you turn that on so that you can see free appointments. If you like it, please subscribe to the Trainer Lori channel and please click like. Thank you. We'll see you next time.